A Visual Trader Studio training video using VTS Logic Elements. The logic element is an element that allows you to define logical conditions. The logic of the strategy will follow the path of the logic which is true. New VTS logics can be added to the pad by clicking the New Elements pane on the toolbox, selecting the logic icon and dragging it onto the pad. Also, a logic can be added by right-clicking the mouse and selecting the logic item from the menu. Either of these methods will add a new logic element to the pad. A logic element has a single input link and two output links, one labeled true, the other labeled false. All VTS elements, including the logic element, have three buttons along the bottom. These buttons can be selected with a single mouse click. The question mark button on the bottom left of the element will open a help file when selected. The eye icon on the bottom middle of the element will open a window that displays information about the various forms of source code. At this time, this information is only used by VTS engineers. The most important button is the plus button in the bottom right of the element. It is used to configure the logic. Selecting the plus button will display the logic configuration window. The logic elements configuration window allows you to build logical conditions. A single logical condition compares two values. The value on the left is called the left operand. The value on the right is called the right operand. The value in the middle is called the operator. The values of the operands are set by using the pull-down menu to access variables. The variable menu contains all of the existing variables. They are organized within a menu by the system where they were originally created. There is also a menu that contains variables for any functions that have been created within the system. When a VTS function that calculates a numeric value is defined, a variable of the same name, with a prefix of VAR, is created to hold the function's value. The MQL menu contains MQL built-in variables such as ask, bid, etc. Any of the menu items can be assigned to the variable by selecting and clicking the item. The Enter a Value menu is used to enter a literal value. The operator is selected using the pull-down menu. The values are very straightforward, greater than, less than, etc. After defining the left and right operands and the operator, the condition's final value should be set. This value can be a return statement, which can be set to either true or false. It can also be used to connect the condition to another condition using the operand keywords, or, and. And when or, or, and are selected, another condition will be created. Also, insert and remove values can be used to add or remove conditions. The or operand will cause the logic to return a true condition if either condition 1 or condition 2 is true. The and 
operand will cause the logic to return a true condition only if both condition 1 and condition 2 are true. Using these simple connections, almost any logical combination can be created. When you view a VTS diagram on the pad, the flow of the system will follow the path that evaluates to true when the EA is running. A special note about the logic elements in quick start systems. The logic elements of the quick start functions, QS open by logic, QS open cell logic, QS close by logic and QS close cell logic, are all configured in this same fashion. If a QS function returns true, then the appropriate signal will be generated for that function. This signal will cause the action to take place. For example, the action may be to open or close a buy or sell position. This subject is fully covered in my Quick Start System training video. The Save button is used to save the current configuration of the logic element. Also, save as is used to save the current configuration of the logic element to a new name. After a logic element has been saved, it is available from the toolbox to be reused if needed. Logic elements can be deleted by selecting the logic in the toolbox and right-clicking. This will display a window to permanently delete the logic element. This concludes the using VTS logic elements training video. Thank you for watching and please see my other training videos for more information on using the Visual Traders Studio for MetaTrader.